This is how what was meant to be a 17 hour journey actually ended up taking 44 hours. My day started pretty smooth by driving to Sheffield to stay and catch an overnight bus to London Heathrow. Upon arriving at London Heathrow though, I received a text message saying my first flight was cancelled. To say sorry, they gave me a £13 voucher, which I immediately went to Costa and got myself some food and then waited in line for a different flight. I ended up getting on an earlier flight, which in theory meant that I could have made my second connecting flight. But oh no, as soon as we sat on the plane, they announced that it wouldn't be setting off for another three hours. So basically, I missed my connecting flight by 50 minutes. I was so mad. But then on the plane, they did announce that they'd be handing out hotel vouchers for those of us whose flight was rescheduled for the next day. So tell me why I waited in this queue for two hours to be told that they'd booked all the hotels and I'd have to book one myself. So I booked my hotel through booking.com and I just prayed that they would reimburse me once I put the form through. I got to my hotel at around 5 and my flight wasn't until 6am the next morning but I was so stressed about missing it that I literally only got 3 hours sleep and I'm just so mad about it. But silly old me woke up too early and went to the airport too early so I had such a long time to wait around for my flight from Amsterdam to Paris. And Paris wasn't even initially on my original flight itinerary, I just had to add it because that was the only way for me to get to St. Martin in the Caribbean. Despite all my bad luck until now, I managed to cure a whole road to myself on that flight, which was pretty good, and only had an hour layover in Paris. Thankfully, my last flight in this journey wasn't delayed at all, and I also secured another road to myself. So, of course, I moved to the window seat, enjoyed the food, and watched three movies back to back, and enjoyed the beautiful views from my window, which I didn't even have to pay for. That luck didn't last, though, because as soon as I deboarded the plane in St. Martin, there was queues outside for an hour just to get to passport control. Honestly though, I'm just relieved to finally be here.